Hey everybody, Adam Wilbur here. I am driving home from a gig in Boston, actually my TEDx talk. Uh, the first TEDx talk of, of three I've got booked and the irony of it, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about the Worker Show to Go and I actually got this TEDx opportunity because of the Worker Show to Go. I performed the show to go to a client and, and his friends and he loved it so much that he connected me with the booking agent for the TEDx. So um, kind of a full circle thing there. But I want to talk to you about, excuse the shakiness of the video, I'm just in, in Boston and their roads are notoriously bumpy so I apologize for that. But uh, I want to talk about a couple of the advantages of the Worker Show to Go, who it's for, who's really going to benefit the most from it, and a few reasons of why I love it so much. The first and, and most important for me is that it's a security blanket. Once you learn this show, you've got something that can go with you everywhere. It can either be uh, you know, thrown in your car, it can be brought as a carry-on when you're traveling, so if you get to your event and your luggage didn't get there for whatever reason, you've still got this backup of a very, very solid show. Uh, it's very portable, and like I said, it's like, it's like a security blanket, if you will. You always know that you've got a portable um, carry-on size full act that you can do whenever you want. Um, I always bring it just in case and I've always got one in the car. Um, as you know sometimes you'll be at a gig and they want to see a little bit more or they want you to stay a little bit longer. Um, these are massive things that really can play a big, a very important role in your career as a magician. If you get to an event that they're paying you good money for and your luggage didn't show up, guess what? They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They paid you to show up to do a show. So you better have a way of, of doing a very good show even if your luggage doesn't show up. And for me, the Worker Show to Go solves that problem. I know that you could go to Walmart and piece a show together in, in the capacity that you have, but you and I both know that's not gonna be the, the standard of show that most clients that are flying you out are, are expecting. So that's one of the major benefits of it is the, the size of it, the portability of it, and the idea that if you learn it once, you've got a rock solid show for backups if you ever need it. Another big advantage of this is I do a lot of shows for the same clients. A lot of times for some of the corporate people I work for, they will say straight out, we'd love to hire you again, but is it gonna be the same show because it's the same group? And now you can say, no, it's not. If you have a current show that you're doing, the worker show to go is a secondary show. You can piece your effects in and out as you see fit. If there's some grand slam items that you just can't live without, you can section those into the worker show to go, or you can just do the act as it stands and say, yeah, I've got a brand new show you've never seen before. And that's a pretty important thing. It's hard to, to redevelop a show every single time your client wants you. I have one client that I work with and I do three to five shows for them a year. You know, I can't do the same show every time. Two of the shows I can, I can do the same, but the other ones I really need something fresh. So I think the Worker Show to Go can be that for you if you're out there performing. The other thing I wanna to touch on is that if you're really trying to make a living as a, as a magician, then you, you need to get a stand-up show. Uh, Strolling magic is amazing, and I know that there's a few performers out there that make a very healthy living doing just strolling, but I think that's pretty situational and, and where you live. I know if you live in a place like LA, um, in the city, in, you know, in New York City and things like that, you can probably get away with making a decent living at just close up. But even that, it's a very big advantage if you have an upsell to that close up. To say, I can entertain a large group of people at, at one time for an after dinner show, for a stand up parlor show. You now have something more that you can pitch to your client as opposed to, oh, I walk around and I do mingle magic. While that's good, you can upsell to the point of two, three, sometimes 4,000 extra dollars by saying I've got an after dinner show or I've got a sit down formal VIP show that we can put on top of the strolling magic. Um, and that's another big benefit of the worker show to go. Everything is done for you. This is a show that you can quite literally practice, get down, and go do. Of course you're going to want to change the character. You might want to change some of the order of the, of the effects, or um, you can't be me on stage, but you can still use the same presentations, you can still use the same laugh lines and everything like that, and still be your own character. So this isn't a case of thousands of magicians around the country doing the exact same show. As you know, you're going to put your own flavor and spin on it. The nice thing is this can be your training wheels as you're starting out in stand-up. If you've never done a stand-up or a parlor or a sit-down formal style show, 
you can take this for what it's worth and just do it. Put your personality to it, but do it exactly as it's explained in the worker show to go. And that's gonna give you the confidence to know I've got a show. I've got a show that I can go pitch and charge three, four, five thousand dollars for comfortably. And that's a nice way to build up that confidence and also get your creative juices flowing to start developing your own. So you can see what works, what doesn't work, what feels right for you, and you can start piecing off of it. I've been doing this show for many years now and I've really sort of fine-tuned it to what works best for my character. My character is basically a um, comedy, light-hearted magician and mentalist. I don't take it too seriously. I wanna make sure people are laughing and having a good time. That's how I've structured this show. That's not to say that you can't come out in a very serious demeanor and do the show to your style or whatever your style is. It's a very versatile show in that sense. So. What is it really? It's between six and eight effects, depending on how you look at the, the predictions and the climaxes and things of that nature. But it's about six to eight effects, anywhere from 35 to about 50 minutes, depending on your pacing and your timing and if you add a trick or two in there. As it stands, you can do this as a 35 minute show and get all of the effects in there. You can also do it as about a 45 minute show and get all the effects in there. It's just depending on if you're having people come up on stage, if it's a sit down sort of living room environment or if it is a stage environment. That's gonna add anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So the show itself, like I said, I've planned this to have a strong beginning that gets them to quickly understand what they're gonna be seeing. And then as it builds, my, my goal was that it would build to a laughter, excitement, and then a few built-in climaxes. So there's not one ending, there's not one grand finale, there's a couple of them, and I like that. I like the beats being broken up like that. Um, the, the other thing is, I remember when I was on Wizard Wars, uh, uh, many years back now, Gregory Wilson had said to me, we were having a discussion and I said, hey man, I'm super nervous. This is actually you know, one of the first times I've been on stage, uh, a stage this big and, and sort of done a, a stand-up piece like this. And he was like, oh dude, you gotta get a stand-up show. I said, well, why? He said, think about this, man. When you go out and you do strolling magic, you're introducing yourself group after group, you're interrupting people to, to have them watch your magic, and you have to redo that every single time you go to the next group. With a stand-up show, you've got the entire audience and all of their undivided attention staring at you. You go up and you do your 45 minutes or your 50 minutes, and then you leave. And you get paid two, three, four times as much. Now you can add your strolling on top of that as, a, as kind of a, an upsell, but stand-up shows are the way to go. And I remember when he said that to me, I had no show. You know, I, I hadn't had much, so I started developing what is now the work of show to go. And man, was he right. There is just something, if you don't have a stand-up show, if you're not currently doing or offering a stand-up show, I would say start doing it because there is something really amazing about the feeling of standing there on stage with everyone watching you and you doing a, a well thought out and well routine start to finish show. It's a lot more memorable for them, you can charge a lot more, and it allows you to entertain a lot more people than something like, hey, I'll do two hours of strolling. You can entertain a lot of people that way, but they're only seeing those three to five to seven minutes of close-up magic as you mingle through. When the entire audience is watching you for those 45 minutes, it's a great feeling. It's, it's just, it's something special. And if you haven't done it, if you haven't gone out and done a, a stand-up or a parlor style show, I built this for you to get out and have that experience because it really will take your magic to the next level. It'll give you something that you can offer that will dramatically increase your value to your clients. And if you are a worker out there who does have a stand-up show, like I said, this is something that you can have as an extra, as a, hey, you know, I, I, like the, I like the idea of knowing I've got a backup at any time. So you don't have to go through routining your entire show again or scripting everything out. You can just learn this as I've done it and know you've got a 35 to 45 minute pretty rock solid show to bring with you everywhere you go. So that's my little pitch on, on the worker show to go. I truly am. I'm, I've never been more proud of a project. This is the most personal project I've ever put out. Um, and this is for everybody. This is for the hobbyists that never thought they would want to do a stand-up show to give them the courage and the tools to do so. And it's also for you know the professionals out there who are working and just want something new. They want a full, full act that they can go show to one of their clients that wants to see something new. So as always, I can't thank you enough for all your support. You know, the, the community, this magic community, the messages I get and the, the positive feedback and, 
it's just an amazing thing that really motivates and drives me to keep doing what I'm doing. So I really did put this together for all of you. I, I truly appreciate all of your time, all of your consideration, and all of your positive and nice messages that you, you all send me. So um, thank you so much. Truly hope you enjoy the Worker Show to Go. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, I, I try and make myself as available as possible. So thanks so much. Talk to you guys soon.